What are submarines? Submarines are the vessel which can carry deadly weapons for mass destruction and can be submerged underwater for a long period of time. Do we really know about them? We do, but not all. Welcome to our channel Inkstall, and please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for new updates. Now what are nuclear submarines? People might think that submarines which fire or carry nuclear weapons are called nuclear submarines. But no, a nuclear submarine is powered by a nuclear reactor and yet capable of carrying nuclear weapons also. The reason to develop these nuclear power submarines was that old submarines cannot stay underwater or sail at sea for a long time. A nuclear submarine has a lifespan of 25 years. Early nuclear submarines had to surface for refueling and stocking in several periods of time. Current generation of nuclear submarines don't have to surface themselves for refueling as it can serve for its whole life of 25 years once fueled. But it also has a drawback that it has to be surfaced for stockings. The very first idea of a nuclear-powered submarine was proposed in the U.S. Navy by the Naval Research Laboratory's Ross Gunn in 1939. Ross Gunn was an American who worked in Manhattan Project during World War II. Construction of the world's first nuclear-powered submarine was made possible by the successful development of a nuclear propulsion plant by a group of scientists and engineers at the Naval Reactors Branch of the Bureau of Ships and the Atomic Energy Commission. In July 1951, the U.S. Congress authorized construction of the first nuclear-powered submarine, Nautilus, under the leadership of Captain Hyman G. Rickover, USN. Sharing names with Captain Nemo's fictional submarine, Nautilus, in Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and another USS Nautilus, SS-168, that served with distinction in World War II. After the submarine was completed at the Electric Boat Company on the 30th of September, 1954, the First Lady, Mommy Eisenhower, broke the traditional bottle of champagne at Nautilus's bow and she was commissioned the USS Nautilus SSN-571. This submarine was 320 feet long, 98 meters, and cost about $55 million. So, this was about the first nuclear-powered submarine. Now let's see how nuclear submarines work. Nuclear marine propulsion is a propulsion of a ship or submarine with heat provided by a nuclear power plant. The power plant heats water to produce steam for a turbine used to turn the ship's propeller through a gearbox or through an electric generator and motor. Naval nuclear propulsion is used specifically within naval warships such as supercarriers. Compared to oil or coal-fueled ships, nuclear propulsion offers the advantages of very long intervals of operation before refueling. All the fuel is contained within the nuclear reactor so no cargo or supply space is taken up by fuel, nor is space taken up by exhaust stacks or combustion air intakes. Naval reactors are of the pressurized water type. A primary water circuit transfers heat generated from nuclear fission in the fuel to a steam generator. This water is kept under pressure, so it does not boil. This circuit operates at a temperature of around 250 to 300 degrees Celsius or 482 to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Any radioactive contamination in the primary water is confined. Water is circulated by pumps at lower power levels. Reactors designed for submarines may rely on natural circulation of the water to reduce noise generated by the pumps. The hot water from a reactor heats a separate water circuit in the steam generator. The water turns to steam and passes through steam dryers on its way to the steam turbine. Spent steam at low pressure is run through a condenser, cooled by seawater, and returns to liquid form. The water is pumped back to the steam generator and continues the cycle. Any water lost in the process can be made up by desalinated seawater added to the steam generator feed water. In the turbine, 
the steam expands and reduces its pressure as it imparts energy to the rotating blades of the turbine. There may be many stages of rotating blades and fixed guide vanes. The output shaft of the turbine may be connected to a gearbox to reduce rotation speed. Then, a shaft connects to the vessel's propellers. The Russian, US, and British navies rely on direct steam turbine propulsion, while the French and Chinese ships use the turbine to generate electricity for propulsion. Turbo electric transmission Most nuclear submarines have a single reactor, but Russian submarines have two, and so had USS Triton. Most American aircraft carriers are powered by two reactors, but USS Enterprise had eight. The majority of marine reactors are of the pressurized water type. Although the US and Soviet navies have designed warships powered with liquid metal-cooled reactors, the development in nuclear sectors has enabled a lot of countries to build nuclear-powered submarines to defend their borders. Some of the countries with nuclear submarines are the United Kingdom, Russia, India, United States, China, and France. Now, let's see the types and number of subs these countries own. The US has 72 submarines in total, which are further divided into class – Los Angeles, Ohio, Virginia, and Seawolf. The Russian Navy has 45 nuclear subs in three categories – attack, ballistic missile, and cruise missile submarines. The attack subs in the Russian Navy can also carry land nuclear cruise missiles. China's 14 of the submarines are nuclear-powered. The nuclear-powered submarines are categorized into ballistic and attack. The subs are further placed into different classes, namely Type 091 Han class, 092 Zia class, 093 Shang, 094 Jin, 095, 96 Tang class, Type 098. The Indian Navy has only two nuclear subs, with other subs powered by other means. The two are ballistic missile and attack sub. The last submarine was leased from the Russians in 2012 and is under the Indian Navy for 10 years. The attack submarine is an Akula Class 11 submarine named Chakra. The other sub is an Arihant Class submarine and was commissioned in 2016. If you've liked Inkstall's edutainment, then go to inkstall.in and sign up for free. Producing our videos takes a lot of time. If you'd like to support Inkstall, you can do so on patreon.com forward slash Inkstall. Please refer the link below to buy Inkstall's book on space, time, and beyond.